how interesting the total silence of my fellow candidates for president concerning the obvious murder of whistleblower John Barnett, former employee of the Merchant of Death multinational corporation Boeing. John Mitch Barnett was expected to appear in court to present depositions confirming that Boeing had retaliated against him for revealing serious quality lapses when he was found dead from a gunshot wound on Saturday, March 16th in Charleston, South Carolina. The Charleston County Coroner's Office quickly announced that, quote, his death appears to be the result of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. No one was fooled, however, but many of the cowardly politicians and media figures who claimed to be truth-tellers were frightened out of their wits. Barnett was a distinguished quality manager who raised serious questions about Boeing's 787 Dreamliner commercial aircraft and who was subject to unending harassment at Boeing until he was forced to quit. His efforts contributed to the overwhelming case made for corporate malfeasance in the 2022 Netflix film Downfall, the case against Boeing. A close friend of Barnett's related that he had told her explicitly, if anything happens to me, it is not suicide. WSWS notes that, quote, in an interview with corporate crime reporter, Barnett exposed the role of Boeing's military connections inherited from its merger with McDonnell Douglas in 1997. Quote, the entire team came down from the military side, he said. Quote, their motto was, we're in Charleston and we can do whatever we want. They started pressuring us not to document defects, to work outside procedures, to allow defective material to be installed without being corrected. In other words, the corrupt world of military contractors who do whatever they like in secrecy, protected by non-disclosure agreements and security clearances, was brought over to commercial aircraft with deadly results. This pattern we can see all over the United States. In spite of the deadly crashes of 737 MAX 8 planes in October 2018 and March 2019, produced by Boeing with flawed technology, of which the CEOs were fully aware, crashes which killed all of 346 passengers and crew aboard the two planes. No executives were ever tried for these crimes. They were not even accused because they were protected by blatantly unconstitutional classified directives. I ask you, fellow citizen, if you or me, as ordinary citizens of the United States of America, struggling to make ends meet, People who do not make tens of millions of dollars a year by stoking up conflicts so as to sell weapons for war and thus bring massive profits to the billionaires. If we, as people who can't hire lobbyists, consulting firms, private intelligence companies, if we knowingly made a flawed product that killed hundreds of people and endangered many, many more, and if we were then rightfully suspected of ordering the killing of an honest and righteous citizen who exposed our crimes. What do you think would happen to us? I can tell you what would happen. We would be thrown in jail in a minute and our assets would be seized. But what about these criminal merchants of death? I say, outlaw, I say out loud, with the citizens of the United States as my witness, and the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence as my source, that verily the United States shall have no man above the law, not even those who run these criminal enterprises that have seized control of our government, not even those protected by unconstitutional classified directives and secret law. Shut off the bread and circus 
court trials of Donald Trump and focus on this critical case. I demand of the courts and of our dear citizens that in accord with the Constitution and federal law, Mr. David Calhoun, the CEO of Boeing, be placed in custody immediately until a transparent international scientific investigation of the killing of Mr. Barnett has been completed. The United States is a constitutional republic and multinational corporations have no special status. We know that the killing of Mr. Barnett is not an isolated case, but only one of a huge number of such attacks on those who take on the corrupt forces that govern us, corrupt forces that falsely claim to be the government.